everyone in today's video i'll show you how to do this bubble clutch bag which can be used as a makeup bag your pencil case or crochet hook case or any other way that you can think of and i hope you will enjoy this video if you do don't forget to hit subscribe like this video and let's get into it to make this clutch you will need 100 grams of any double knit yarn I have my own hand dyed yarn here which is available on connectsayarns.com if anyone's interested and it is a blue face luster wool in this red, pink and blue color then you will need a pair of scissors, a 4.5mm hook and needle so this pattern is uh, being worked in front and back panel which are alike and then middle panel uh, which joins both of the front and back so i'll show you how to do the front panel first we want to start with a slip knot pull it tight and then chain 32 when you've got your chain of 32 you want to start into second chain from your hook with a single crochet so put your hook into the second chain pull up a loop there's gonna be two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through two and you will be doing single crochets into every single chain and that will leave you with 31 single crochets for the first row I'm now nearly at the end of my row, just have one stitch left. And once that's done, you want to chain one and then turn your work. So the second row is going to be a row of bubble stitches. So into the first one, you want to make single crochet. And into the next one, it's going to be a bubble stitch so you want to yarn over go into the stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two that is unfinished double crochet and bubble stitch is made out of uh, three to five uh, unfinished double crochets but i'm gonna do four so that's one done now then you want to yarn over go into that same stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two as you can see that's two done one more time and one more time and that should bring you to five loops on your hook which you then gonna yarn over and pull through all into the next it's single crochet and into the one after it's bubble stitch again so yarn over do unfinished double crochet only pulling through once and repeat this another three times into that same stitch and it's basically until you have five loops on your hook then yarn over pull through two do a single crochet in next and as you can see, we are doing single crochet, bubble stitch, single crochet, bubble stitch, and so on. So this is what you will need to repeat till the end of your row. And your row will end with a single crochet. And I'm now at the end of my row two. I have one stitch left, which is single crochet. Then chain one and turn your work. 
this is how it will look it might curl a bit but don't worry it will get straighter with each row and then you will now need to repeat uh, these two rows so single crochet and then rows of bubbles just to show you how it's done above the bubbles you can straight kind of see the stitch here so put a single crochet in every single stitch above the bubble you will see this huge loop there so from the above it looks like this this is where you want your single crochet to be and then again single crochet on top of our previous single crochet and just like that you will be doing those single crochets just make sure that you have exactly the same stitch count so it should also be 31 stitches for every single row because one bubble counts as one stitch so I'm just gonna finish this row off by doing single crochets and I will meet you then And at the end of row three, you want to chain one, turn your work, and it's now the bubble row that we need to do. So just to show you one more time, we always start with a single crochet and end with a single crochet. So I'll do that, and then it's bubble. So four unfinished double crochets into one stitch. And then once you've got five loops, yarn over and pull through all, single crochet in between of all bubble stitches, and then bubble again. Single crochet, and just simply repeat those two stitches until the end of your row and once you finish your row as always chain one this is how your four rows will look like and you should have your bubbles pretty lined up so if it is not in line that means that you might have missed a stitch or you did bubble and then single crochet instead of a single and then bubble but yeah you will now need to repeat um, these two rows so single crochet bubble row until you have 20 rows in total and you should count 10 rows of bubbles so it's not 20 rows of bubbles it's 20 rows of these two combined with a single crochet in between so i'm just gonna finish that and i will meet you at the end and this is how it looks all finished up i did a single crochet row on top of uh, my work so it's 21 rows and i would suggest just doing that uh, evens edge slightly bit and then finish off with the long tail for sewing and repeat this one more time as your back panel also finishing off with the long tail now for the adjoining part you want to grab your yarn make a slip knot pull it tight and then chain six then starting into second chain from your hook do a single crochet and make single crochet in every single chain so it's gonna make you five single crochets in total and this pattern is pretty much the same as for the main panel it just has a few stitches there when you turn your work for second row start with single crochet then do a bubble stitch in your next single crochet in the next and then bubble stitch again okay. 
and single crochet in the last one. Chain one, and you will now need to repeat those two rows. So do single crochets, which is always going to be five of them, and then do your bubble row. So single crochet, bubble, single crochet, and bubble. And it's only going to be two bubbles wide for our joining part. But yeah, you will need to repeat this until you have 34 uh, bubble rows, which um, means that you will have 68 rows in total plus one row of single crochets at the end. So 69 rows. I'm just going to do that and then I will meet you at the end. And once you have your middle part complete, as you can see, there's mine. I have 34 bubbles in total. Again, it's 68 rows plus the 69th, which is row of single crochets on top. You can hide the tails of this as we won't need them and then grab your two panels. And once you've got all of your panels done, grab one of the big pieces together with your long joining side. I will be using stitch markers to place this piece together with the main panel, but you can use tails of yarn as well. And just to make sure that you've got the same amount of bubbles on each side, so 10. Until the next corner. Same with this side, just make sure that it's exactly the same and with the last side. And once you've done this, it should look something like this and then with the needle and yarn tail that you have left from the big panel just join along both of the sides and the bottom with your needle so I'm just gonna go in with a simple straight stitch Also making sure that each bubble row lines up, otherwise it might end up being just like this. So make sure that it's bubble on top of bubble. And yeah, just like that, just go all around to the other side and then hide the tail in. You will then need to repeat the same exact thing by grabbing your next panel. But yeah, I'm just gonna do this and then I will meet you at the end. And this is how it will look all joined up. So I'm just gonna hide the tail in. And once you hide the tail, 
you will need to grab your second panel and do the same exact thing by securing all four corners and sewing it around and this is how it looks all finished up i would recommend adding a zip to make it closed but i'm not good at doing that so i'm not going to show it but i'll probably be adding it to mine and yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did don't forget to hit subscribe like this video and i will see you in my next one